This is my retractable caster system that I made for my table saw about six months ago. I don't have any footage of actually building it, so this video is gonna be more about the design, how it works, and maybe give you some ideas on how to make one for your workshop. There were a couple key aspects that I wanted to accomplish when I went to build this. I wanted it to be quick to operate, simple, and not require any tools. So I went with this rotating arm mechanism that you can see here in the middle, and that allows it to be one-handed. It operates both sides at the same time. It doesn't require any tools, and it's self-locking because as it over-centers during the rotation, that holds the arms in place and keeps them from going backwards when it's holding up the table saw. Let me show you how this rotating arm mechanism works. As I start to move this lever, the black arms start to rotate and are forced out. Once I get to about this point, you'll see that the black arms are about in line with each other. Now the saw is lifted up off the floor at this point, but there's nothing keeping the, the wheels and the arms on the wheels from falling back down. So by continuing to rotate this arm, those black arms now go over center and if they were to be forced back together, they are rotating this arm into this leg and as you can see, this arm is stopped by this leg and that keeps this mechanism from rotating any further and keeps the whole saw lifted off the ground. Now the saw only lifts off the concrete about half an inch, which isn't very much, but really that's all you need to make this completely mobile. Since I'm on a flat concrete slab, that's really all I need. There were a couple other things I had to consider when I was designing this. And one of those has to do with these rotating casters. Let me show you real quick. If I spin all these casters facing outward, now that they're all facing outward, you can see that the arm doesn't need as much travel anymore. However, if the wheels are all rotated in like this, you can see now that the starting point of the arm with these wheels rotated in is all the way over to the other leg. So I had to consider the full range of lever that I would need in order to accommodate for whatever wheel position the wheels are in. Since the lever has enough range of motion to accommodate any wheel position, it doesn't matter where the wheels are when it's ready to be picked up because the arm is going to be able to pick up the saw no matter where the wheels are. This is actually the second caster system that I built for this table saw because on the first one I overlooked a major issue. On the first set I made, I made these wheel supports only as wide as the actual legs on this table saw. That meant each caster was about under each leg. When I went to operate it the first time, the whole back end kind of squatted and wouldn't want to pick up off the ground. Then I realized that the majority of the weight in this cabinet is from the table saw and the table saw actually sits more on the back half of the cabinet and the motor hangs out the back which puts the center of gravity even further towards the back. So I had to rebuild these supports and I made them wider so that I could get one of these wheels back further to help distribute the load better and get more of an even lift force out of these wheels. Quick rundown on the construction. The handle, three quarter inch plywood, the link arms are three quarter inches thick, about two inches wide. Those are made out of hardwood, so they're nice and strong. These end gussets here are also the same three quarter inch hardwood, and they are screwed, and I believe they also are doweled into these legs so that they're nice and rigid. The legs are two two by fours glued together. See the end profile here? And they are, the top one is beveled so that when the wheel rotates up, it can go flush against the cabinet. And then the hinges 
just regular door hinges and I had to recess them down in because I couldn't mount them on top because there wasn't any material here to mount the hinge to so they are recessed. And then casters are just screwed in from the bottom and all the nuts and bolts are half inch hardware. So that's my retractable caster system for my table saw. Works awesome, I love it, I use it a lot. It makes it so much easier to move that table saw around, yet still makes a super rigid table when the wheels are up and the base is down. Hope you guys found something useful in this video. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project. Just a quick update for those of you that are my long-term followers and are wondering what's going on in the workshop. I'm in the process of finishing the drywall, patching all the holes and the seams, painting everything. You can see this wall completely finished. Barn door is all painted, the track's painted, looks nice. That wall is painted, windows trimmed out, that half of the ceiling is painted. So I'm working on the other half. Got this wall to finish, that wall to finish, that half of the ceiling to finish. Then I can move back in.